see it. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now, it has been a while, and I do apologize for that, guys. I have been quite busy in my personal life, and I just haven't had any time to properly get out. But today, as you can see, we're on a rock mark. I've got my nice life jacket on, and I'm here with my good friend, Dan Ball. Now, we haven't seen him for quite a while. He's been away at uni, but he's finished now. Come say hi, Dan. Hello. But today, we are, I'm not going to say exactly where we are. All I'll say is we're on the Flane, the Flane Peninsula in good old Northern Wales. Now, we are targeting the tope because Dan here had his first ever shore tope. When yeah. was that? Like two days ago, three days yeah, ago, maybe. A, a, not that long ago. Yeah. But he sent me a, a photo of it whilst I was working. And my first thought was, I'm going there <laughs> this weekend. So yeah. that's what we're doing today. I've only got my one rod with me. I've got, well, I've got another one in the car just in case. Mm -hmm. But I'm planning to fish one rod all out for tope. Now I have got my spinner and we are fishing for some fresh bait. Yeah, we've got a couple already. Got a couple of mackerel. But there you are, guys. You can see. Already had the first mackerel. That was probably second cast with the little feathers on the lure. I have been casting this little sidewinder speed jig. Um, for a good few casts and I wasn't getting anything. Second cast with the feathers on, just like I did in Thandidno when I had my big sea trout, and I got straight onto the fish. Now, yeah. you can see that's not a bad size, so we've got some nice fresh bait. So I'm gonna set up my big rod, I'm gonna get this guy set out, and fingers crossed for us guys, I'll have my very first big shore tote. Stay tuned, and hopefully we'll get soon. that out guys monster mackerel here at the moment see if we can get a few more so guys I'll just run through what we've been using now Dan's uh, been using one of his beach casters with a set of feathers on and some plain leads but I've gone for my usual method for the mackerel and it's only just to make it a bit more fun now I've got my normal um, spinning rod with me my gravel tech my gravel Teclon concept spin. I think it's only rated 10 to 40 grams, so it's not a particularly heavy rod. Ooh. What I like to do is I have a small sort of 30 gram little speed jig. Now this one's a sidewinder one. I absolutely love these jigs. I always pick up three of them every time I can. Some on that. 
I think we better check this guys. We'll give this a quick check and I'll get back to this. Guys, well you can see it wasn't a there was a dog on this, I promise you. Dan and Luke can vouch for me, but yeah. Yeah. unfortunately uh not the target species we have we are after. But this was a lovely big mackerel fillet bait and that's just been devoured there. So we've still got a good few fresh mackerel, so we're gonna put another fillet on and we'll get this cast back out. So guys, as I was saying before that dog interrupted me, it might happen again because it's inevitable when you are fishing big mackerel baits or big fish baits. Yeah. <laughs> Literally a sit. Yeah. It's inevitable. It is. I don't think I'm ever going to get to show you this setup. <laughs> right. I better go get. I better go get that. So as I was trying to say, guys. This is what I use to catch mackerel. Now, I go very simple with it. I like to use a spinning rod because I love getting the fight off the mackerel. If you get two or three on, it could be an absolute belter of a fight. Now, this is my normal spinning setup. It's a Revell Teclon Concept Spin, 10 to 40 gram. It's a lovely little rod. It's one of my favorites. They don't make them anymore. Now I like to use some sort of speed jig, Dexter wedge, spinner, anything with a bit of weight. This one's 30 gram. I absolutely love these Sidewinder speed jigs. I've done very well on these. And this was a different color, but this same jig that I caught my sea trout on. Now, as you can see, I've got three feathers above the law. Now the first cast that I did, the first mackerel I had today was on the jig. And it was a nice big brute of a mackerel. So it went with my theory of the bigger fish will go for the smaller bait at the bottom of the rig. So what I'm trying to do is imitate almost a feeding frenzy. I've got the feathers acting as a very small bait fish. I've got the jig acting as a bigger bait fish eating the smaller bait fish. And then the predatory fish like the mackerel, sea trout and bass, pollock, stuff like that will hit the jig. That's my theory anyway. But so far I've had three mackerel on this. Uh, two were on film, I'm pretty sure, but the other one I caught before the camera started rolling. But, like I said at the start, in the intro, my big baits are solely being used for taupe. I've only got the one rod out for taupe, and in the meantime, I'm just jigging around for some mackerel just to keep the fresh bait going. I'd like to take a few home today if I can to fill the freezer. But another thing you might notice about us fishing on the rocks is I have my uh, emergency vest on. Now, recently, a uh, mark that I've fished in the past a few times, Ravens Point. There was a fellow who lost his life there. He ended up in the water in some quite rough conditions. Now, we could never know what it was like for him, but I would like to think that if he was wearing a vest, it might have been different for him. Where Dan caught his tope a few days ago it was a bit further round to our my right, your left. But that at the moment has a really nasty swell. Now, Yes, there's a chance of a taupe there, but there's also a chance of a taupe here. So we'd way, way rather be safe and comfortable than be risking our lives fishing for something that we may not get. So just a thought to consider there, but I'm going to carry on doing some spinning in the meantime. I got a fresh bait out after that. I reckon it was a little conga, not a dog, as my uh, rig was all twisted up. So I'll get another rig sorted in the meantime, just in case. But at the moment, I'll leave that one out and fingers crossed I get a nice big screaming run and I'll have a brand new PB taupe on the shore. Stay tuned guys and keep the fingers crossed. Oh, 
Well there you are guys, it's always the case of when I turn the camera off, I get the fish. Now as you can see, another one on the lure again, another one on the jig. But that was really low to the bottom actually, I, I, I was started snagging on the bottom. And I just managed to pop it over and then these guys obliterated, it was a really nice little fight. But yeah, three more fresh bait for the rods, but at the moment we're just being plagued by dogs, so came to give it another go with the um, mackerel rod and we're doing so well, so at least we've got a nice video for the mackerel anyway. There we go. Another mackerel on the feathers. Pretty good. Pretty good fresh bait. These makes all the difference when you're tone fishing. Okay, so we've just got another mackerel. I think we've had maybe like 12 today, 13, something like that. Perfect bait for the tote. I think fresh, fresh bait definitely makes all the difference. But yeah, we're just using some mackerel feathers, casting it out there. This one's a bit smaller. We've had some real big ones today, haven't we? Some yeah, some proper breeds yeah. today. But yeah, this this will go out for another bait. But yeah, see if we can get some more. I thought it was a pollock because I, I hooked it really close in, so you know, I didn't think it was a mackerel. We'll chuck him back though. Adam's on as well. Oh, he's snagged up. There he is, little pollock. We'll put him back. So guys, it's been, I don't know, half an hour since those mackerel. And you can see the meat bait is produced for me. Finally, I've had a few dogs, but this lovely, lovely condition, little conga. Now you can really see this guy's in great shape. You can see how he's got his lovely little back tail there. He's got his dorsal tail along the top. Now he's taken an 8-0 hook, you can just see in the corner of his mouth there. But I want to get this guy unhooked, I want to leave him in a rock pool for a bit just to recover. But I've had a good few mackerel today and it's nice to have a conger again. Hopefully we can get a bigger one. But um, it's nearing the end of the session I think. But uh, yeah, he's proper mangled my rig. But it's nice to get something different on the big bait. So we'll give this guy a bit of recover in a rock pool and then we'll get him sent back. Cheers guys. There we go, nice nice pollock. Um, I don't know how big he is. What do you reckon, pound or two? Pound, yeah. Yeah, nicest, nice pollock we've had today. What we've had, we've had dogfish, a load of mackerel, a couple pollock and a small conger, so it's been not a bad session. But yeah, nice little chill session. Yeah, um, no tope unfortunately, but you can't expect it all the time, can you? So we'll get him back. Go carry on luring for a bit guys and see yeah. if we can get anything else. Yeah, fair enough. There's the pollock, getting back. Yeah, you could be there. Well guys, third species for me now. I've had countless mackerel on this setter. And now I've had the perfect little pollock in micro. The tide's coming in quite quick now, so I think I'll call it a day. But yeah, the swell's picking up a bit as well. So we'll get this little guy released. And uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it guys, unfortunately there was no tote for us today. Um, we did have a good few mackerel though, so it should be a good enough video with the mackerel in it. I had that nice little conger. So, I've got plenty of little fish for bait, for future sessions. We've had a good time today, really enjoyed spending time with Dan and Luke again. But yeah, I think that's going to be it call it a day for now guys so if you like this video please give us a like anything you want to say put it down in the comments uh, if i have read it i'll normally give it a little heart 
and I'll try and get back with a comment as soon as possible. But if you enjoyed this video guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been ADB Fishing.